crisp on the outside and moist inside. These carrot cake macarons are flavored with warm spices and some orange zest. They taste a lot like carrot cake, only they are much healthier as they contain no oil or butter or even flour in them. Which is a good thing because they taste so good. Please subscribe, please stay tuned, click on the bell and do not forget to tick on the checkbox to make sure you receive email notifications when I upload a new video. If you love carrot cake but not the fat and calories in the cake, you should really try these carrot cake macarons. They are very quick and easy to make, they are very flavorful. You'll want to have just one more. I really like these cookies. This recipe is from Alice Medrich and she calls them as carrot masala macarons. You can find the ingredient list in the description below the video. You can also read this post on my blog as well. So here are the ingredients we need for this recipe. Most of these are pantry staples. We need some whole almonds. I am taking these raw almonds with the skin. With or without skin is fine. And then I have some white granulated sugar. And then there is some shredded dried coconut. I always have some in my freezer. And there is some shredded fresh carrots. There is some spices. I'm using cinnamon and some ground cloves. Alice Medrich uses garam masala in her recipe and I'm going to be using the zest of half an orange. And uh, we have some egg white here and this is at room temperature. So we are first going to be grinding the almonds. We want the almonds to be ground quite fine but we do also want some bits and pieces of almonds here and there that gives a nice taste and texture to the cookies. So we'll take the almonds in this. You're also going to be taking some sugar from this and add it to the almonds. When you process the sugar along with the almonds, the almonds will not turn pasty or oily and you will get the desired result. So we'll process these almonds. The good thing is this blender allows you to see what's happening inside the jar and you can stop just when you want. So this is exactly the texture I'm looking for. So I'm going to be taking this egg white in this steel saucepan here. I'm actually making just half the recipe because that itself makes quite a lot. We need to whisk the egg white till it becomes frothy. And then I'm going to be adding the sugar and the rest of the ingredients. The spices. The coconut. And then we'll add the carrots, the almonds. And I'm going to be grating the zest of half an orange. I think orange zest makes just about everything taste better. Alice Medrich actually uses some lemon zest. You can stick to whatever you like best. That's the beauty and joy of baking at home. You can do whatever you wish. We'll just stir this. We are stirring these ingredients just to moisten them. We are going to be setting this aside for about 10 minutes so the sugar will dissolve and the coconut will also get hydrated. So after 10 minutes the mixture is quite sticky now. I have some water here in this pan, it's barely simmering. And we are going to be keeping this saucepan in this uh, water and then we keep stirring this constantly for about 5 to 7 minutes. And please do note that I have kept the pan in the water. This is not over the water. We need to constantly keep stirring this with a spatula till the mixture becomes hot to the touch. So the mixture is now hot to the touch. We'll take this off the heat. We are going to be dropping this batter on the cookie sheet. I have this cookie tray which has been lined with baking parchment. And the oven is preheated to 160 centigrade. You could drop this batter using two spoons or you could also shape the batter making beehives. Which is what I'm going to be doing now. This would approximately be about a teaspoon for each cookie. So now this goes into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. So 
So when the cookies are done, the shreds of carrot will be looking a dark golden brown and the bottoms of the cookies will be golden brown as well. After almost about 25 minutes, let's check on the cookies. They look done. You can see the carrot shreds have turned a dark golden brown and the cookies are golden brown at the bottom as well. These cookies will be crisp when they are warm and fresh from the oven and you can store these for a couple of days in an airtight container. The crust will soften but the cookies will still taste good. So the next time you crave carrot cake, please do try these cookies, I'm sure you'll like them. Lots more recipes and lots more tips coming up on Cakes and More. Please subscribe, please stay tuned.